Since the earliest days of steam, railway engineers have been locked in a race to build faster, more efficient and more reliable locomotives. Some succeeded brilliantly, others not so much. One of the most ambitious and ultimately doomed efforts was the Paget locomotive, a radical experiment in steam design that was unlike anything seen before or since. The mastermind behind this oddity was Cecil Walter Paget, the works manager of the Midland Railway's Derby Works and son of Midland Railway chairman George Ernest Paget. Backed initially by his own private funds, Cecil sought to revolutionise steam power with an unorthodox design that broke all the rules. Eventually, the cost spiralled out of control and the Midland Railway reluctantly stepped in to fund the remainder. The locomotive, completed in January 1909, was a technical curiosity from the start. It featured a 2 6 2 wheel arrangement, weighed an enormous 122.9 tonnes and was driven by eight single-acting uniflow cylinders, all located inside the locomotive. These were arranged in two banks of four, each bank with its own rotary steam valve. In short, this wasn't just an evolution, it was a revolution.